and you see a woman that has a 35, 40, and he called the daughter. The daughter dress up to go out and say, hey, go back there. I don't like what you're wearing. Go and change it. And she will comfortably go and change and come out and say, I don't like that. Go back. Clean up that your face. And, and she go and clean up the makeup and come out. And she look at her and say, okay, you can go. And her friends are there. Oh, you are a mother, you are there. And some of you will say, leave she now. It's their time. Who told you it's their time? It's not going to be your time until I say so. Because I make you, I brought you here. I'm telling you. Say, it's your time, leave she now. That's why you are living your own and your own. And you can't control them anymore. You know why? Some of them, there are things they do that you don't know. But when you go to them, they will tell you what they do. Any of my child I give birth to, the time of dedication, <laughs> I keep like 50 years in the church. I say, this child will be sitting down and listening to me in 50 years. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, Father, the <laughs> You must sit and listen to me until you are 50. Then I can lose you to go. <laughs> that is what the Bible says, lose it and let him go. But so far you have not reached there. If I pick phone and say, hey, I need you, send me money. They will not say that I don't have you. You will send it. Even if you don't have, you go and borrow it from America since you people are living in a place of borrow. <laughs> can I talk to somebody here? Honor brings power. Honor brings unity. One of brings things to happen. Let me tell you a story that happened. One day, a woman come to me and say, "Man of God, my son. One woman have bewitched my son in Abuja. My son, my son, my son." My son. I say, "And when the woman talk and cry, then that is when I normally, when a woman cry, it, it will pain me. I would like to cry with she. I would like to. Be, now they cry. You cry yourself. I will be looking at you like, is this a clown?" I'm telling you the truth. Because not every tears will move a great man. If you want to succeed in ministry, one day I'm talking to a moment, you say, if you want to succeed in ministry, remove emotion and feel it. One day in Aruka, somebody was just reaching and run to the door and start crying. Almost half of the church run and start telling her, sorry. A pastor, you just hear somebody die. That is not your child, it's not your son. Somebody in the road or street or whatever. And you go by the door and start crying. Half of leaders left church and go and begin to rush back and say, sorry, I just carry my bag and leave the church and enter the Congo. You guys finish crying, you go and preach if you like. There are things you cannot change. Anything you cannot change, you don't kill yourself, right? If you are sick, I will be taking care of you and doing everything. But when you die, you die, you go. Everybody will die, but before I die, I will fulfill my mission on earth. I talk too much. No. Sometimes what I'm saying may be hard on you, but you need to hear it. You need to hear it. This woman is always crying to me every day. I say, man of God, they bewitch my son, my son, my son. He, I said, let me, I think. Let's pray. Say, no, man of God, let me take you to the house so that you can see where the witch is. I said, okay, mama. And I was like 27 or 28, and this woman was like 60. So I said, okay, mama. Yeah. And in Abuja, I said, mama, okay. She said, I'll buy your ticket, I'll buy your flight ticket. I said, okay, call your son, we are coming. He called his son, this one's okay. They buy ticket for us, and we fly to Abuja. He said, man, he said, man of God, just be watching, please. Help me, my son is finished. This woman can get to my son. And I go with accurate prophecy to look, really look and see whether I will see demon. And I was there. And the man come back, the woman come back first. The woman is a banker, a regional manager. She returned first and greeted us and all that. Hey, mama, you come? He said, no. She speak my language because the woman is not from my, from my tribe. The woman is a Calabar lady and she speak my language. He said, watch her, where, where, watch her. See, the juju, the juju. See what thing will happen now. Watch. And there is a way somebody will talk to you, then you begin to say everybody has demon, you know. If you don't get sense. And before you know it, 
the husband being the son just come back and this lady oh my honey and just come and kiss the man and the man removing jacket he removed the jacket and keep and the man is sitting down he go and bring food serve all of us food the woman is saying watch watch he said i'm watching and after everything the woman served the food and knelt down a woman on that class knelt down to carry the water for the man to wash hand because in my community you need to kneel for, for the man to wash hand but there are some women when they get to some certain class they just put everything in the table for you to do your do your thing a regional manager knelt down for this man to wash his hand this man never go to school i never know the full story and i'm watching he finished and then asking him how is the job, how is everything. Oh, honey, this will come. This pastor come. Can we put him in a hotel? And all that. The man said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the woman said, no, 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 stay in the house. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. And I said, okay, okay, I think I'll be in the house. I mean, the woman rushed and, and I stayed that night. The next day I tell the woman, I've seen the juju. He said, what is the juju? I said, the honor. That woman, no man you treat like that will ever disrespect you in life. And that is when now they give me the story that this man is a roadside mechanic, you know. Yeah. And the, the woman's car got spoiled when she was going to job. The man just come and fix it. And he go to office, he said, please come to the office and take your money. The guy come to office to take money and she introduced the man to be working all the cars of that bank. And the man have no money, he's a roadside mechanic, and the woman brings his her money and open a shop. And the woman is in the east. You never know how the sun climbed the ladder. And you say it's juju. I like that juju. I like that over here. And finally, the woman, after they finish that, the wedding court before they come to the village to wed. And the man now you come. A big boy in Abuja with a big me mechanic garage. Why would you respect a woman like that that bring you from the gutter? And still honor and respect you. Can I talk to somebody here? Yes. Look at yourself, say honor. honor. Say it again, say honor. honor. Say the last one, say honor. honor. So honor brings a powerful result. In the next seven days, 17 of you will smile. Amen. Are you saying amen or amen? amen? Are you saying amen or amen? amen? Jesus tried to tell them things. He says, this woman has done a great work. Don't trouble her anymore. Listen to me. When you honor a man, when you honor your pastor, and when you honor anointing, listen to me, people will trouble you, but trouble not your mind, for their trouble will end one day. Amen. They will talk against you. Blessed is he that when people speak against you. <laughs> Blessed are thou. Amen. When men speak against you. Amen. When men persecute you. Yes. I say, I will say, Blessed are thou. So for you to be blessed, people should persecute you. All right. People should boof you. Amen. They will boof you. Amen. You know, you know boofing now. They will boof you and boof you and boof you and boof you and boof you again. Somebody always come to church and the church always give the person transport money. And you get a job, you are calling me that the way they are boofing me, they are saying, come here, come here, come here. I say, stay there and pay your bill. Yes. Don't talk back at the woman. I'll give you advice. And suddenly, two days later, you call me, they send me home. What do you do? She talked to me the way I don't like. And I talk back. They send me home. <laughs> talk back. Then how are you going to pay your bill? That is why I need prayer. I don't have prayer. My prayer has finished. When we pray for you and you don't have honor, listen, the Bible said, give it shall be given unto you. Praise God, shaking to me. Shall men give unto you? Men, after you give, God don't have money to give. He calls men that have money to give you. So if you know how to speak in tongues and you don't know how to speak to somebody, you can't get nothing from men. Some speak in tongue, robo saka. They, they don't know how to speak to human being. If you can speak to God and you don't know how to speak to human being, my friend, 
you need to be born again, 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 and again. And again. And again. Lift up your hand and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm about to bring the man of God. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, I am highly favored. I am highly favored. I will succeed. I will succeed. Listen to me. Where the anointing is, honor is at work. Amen. What did I say? Where the anointing is, honor is at work. Yeah. Immediately you see where anointing is. Yes. If you see a church, everybody will pass. People that celebrate their pastor get result. Where here, people don't celebrate their pastor or their prophet. In front of here, pastor, prophet. Behind. Yeah. Ordinary Facebook, you just see the man on Facebook. You see, ah, you see somebody on Facebook with a, a member of the church in airport. To in your mind, because your mind spoils. To you, the person they are going to fornicate. You will not even think of any other thing. Why? When you disrespect and dishonor that person, your life finish. You think you are succeeding. You, 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 you Sometimes what keeps you is the is is your gift. Sometimes what will keep you, maybe is your giving to the church. Maybe there is some things you are giving. And that thing is standing as an ornament for you. Yes. That's what will be sustaining you. Yes. But some of you that don't know how to honor God with your substance and you are talking. <laughs> Satan is waiting for you on the road. I talk too much. <laughs> I talk too much here. Hosea chapter 2, chapter 12, verse 13. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. And by a prophet, the Lord brought each Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet he preserved them. God saved people by a prophet and preserved them by a prophet. Amen. Can I hear someone say, I hear you? I hear you. So if I, God used me to save you, that is good. But to preserve you is honor. So if you come to my ministry or come to our church and get born again and baptized, for you to be blessed, preserved is honor. Amen. If you don't honor, you can't be preserved. If you don't honor, you can get born again today, speak in tongues tomorrow, die in an accident on the road. The power of preservation is based on honor. 